If you are investing into sports cards and want to minimize how much money you can potentially lose, then this is the video for you. What's going on guys? Matt here, back again with another video. Content creators like myself always seem to place an emphasis on the best time to buy sports cards, but what about the best time to sell sports cards? Now, generally, we see the current rookie draft class have more volatile price movements because people are more reactive to their performance and hype is placed upon them. As the years go on, we learn enough about a player which determines what their maximum potential is. Today, I'm going to run through the 2019 NBA draft class and highlight a trend I've noticed and why you should be forecasting and applying it to future draft classes. So the 2019 NBA draft class was extremely hyped, not only because of their talent level, but it was the current draft class being released when the sports card market boomed. Now let's go through that draft class and see what we can find. So you have players like Romeo Langford and Jarrett Culver who were drafted with high hopes, but in the end have been traded to teams where they get no playing time. And other players like Siku Dumboya and Lucas Samanich are in the G League at the moment. Now if we go and take a time machine and go back to the start of that 2019 NBA season, Siku was one of the more hyped players around thanks to being the youngest player from that class and showing flashes as well. I was personally a massive believer in Casey Opala thanks to the draft capital the Miami Heat traded up to move up and get him, but now he's no longer on a team. Now that we've looked back at the 2019 NBA draft class and seen how wrong people were, we can now analyze and apply what we've learned into future draft classes. The one thing I want you to take out of this analysis is that if there's a player that hasn't shown much leading up to their third year, it's probably best to sell off to minimize potential loss. Going back through the draft classes, there aren't that many players that make that star jump after the third season. Even a player like Young, Giannis Antetokounmpo, who infamously had a lot of his rookie cards given away for nothing, showed potential leading up to his third season, where he still averaged 17 points and 8 rebounds per game. Another player who is relatively similar is Pascal Siakam, who also jumped to a 17 point and 7 rebound average in his third season, but through my research, this was quite rare. If there's anyone you can think of of having a massive jump after nothing in their first two seasons, do let me know down below. Now, why have I explained all of this information? Because the 2020 NBA draft class is close to reaching that stage where people start selling off the fear. As much as we think that every single top 10 player in each draft class is going to be special, unfortunately it's never been the case. The 2018 NBA draft class, which is regarded as one of the greatest draft classes of all time, had Marvin Bagley at pick number 2 and Kevin Knox at pick number 9 who were regarded as disappointments. Even the 2003 draft class, which boasted 4 potential Hall of Famers in the top 5, including LeBron James, did drop off completely after this with players who also largely disappointed. Now let's look at the 2020 NBA draft class which was forecasted to be generally weak after the top picks. Obviously you have superstar potential players in LaMelo Ball and Anthony Edwards who have been impressive. James Wiseman and Patrick Williams have shown glimpses but unfortunately have not played much if any games this season thanks to injuries. We can go through the rest of the top 10 but I do want to zero in on a couple of players like Killian Hayes who is currently playing for the Detroit Pistons. Hayes has been largely disappointing in his time at the Pistons and they even chose to draft another point guard in Cade Cunningham in the 2021 NBA draft. In his career thus far he has averaged 6 points and 4.5 assists on 36% shooting from the field. Now I don't like knocking on young players because there is still time at the end of the day, but the signs aren't looking good for Killian Hayes. Another player who has been struggling so far in his career was actually drafted after Killian in Obi Toppin from the New York Knicks. Obi Toppin so far has career averages of 5.5 points per game and is one of the older players from this draft class already being at 24 years old. One of the main issues with Obi, however, is his lack of playing time with the Knicks best player in Julius Randle being in the same position. His red prison numbers to 299 last sold for around $50 US and although they don't play the same position, if you do compare that to Jalen Brunson's same card, that goes for half the price and Brunson is averaging 16 points a game. I definitely think if you wait another 12 to 18 months and he doesn't perform to his expectations, Obi's red prism will hit the $20 range, so you don't want to be the one that is holding the bag. It could also go the other way, in which a player is seen as largely disappointing to start off their career, but then shows glimpses in their second season. One great example of this, and one I have spoken about recently on my channel, is the Indiana Pacers center, Jalen Smith. Jalen had minimal playing time on the center-heavy Phoenix Suns, and the front office even declined his team option, which basically let everyone assume that the Suns thought he was a bust. A few injuries to centers during the season finally allowed Jalen Smith to play and he showed why he was picked in the top 10 of this draft. For me, I'll be definitely looking at these second year players towards the end of the season and starting to identify who can make that next step or who will be the next one to fall. There's a couple of players I do have on my watch list to potentially drop off in Alexei Pokashevsky and Emmanuel Quickly. Both players were extremely hot in their rookie seasons but have dropped off in terms of their hobby love thanks to not making that step in their second seasons. It has been a while but I will do some tier videos on the 2020 NBA draft class in terms of whether I like them or not so do stay tuned for that. Thank you for making it till the end of the video. If you do enjoy the content I am putting out, it would mean the world if you guys smash the like button and hit subscribe. I will have a giveaway up soon because I do want to give back to you guys, so keep a lookout for that. Thank you guys, and take care.